Hey, hooligans. So in this Hooli Help series, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you would get your own images into a scene in Unreal. Uh, and so this is a couple of folks asked about uh, specifically graffiti. So how it would bring in my image in and display it if I was building some, some, uh, some content in Unreal Engine. So uh, today we're going to talk about that and we're going to use uh, decals in Unreal uh, to be able to do that. And so uh, let's set the scene here. So I'm in um, a, uh, an awesome bar scene that I got from the Unreal Marketplace. So super cool. I'm kind of actually doing a little more with the lighting here to kind of light it up. As you can see, you've got a couple of hooligans here uh, in the bar and uh, they're animated, doing some cool stuff. Gonna, gonna be working on this for a little while. But what I wanna show today is uh, we have a nice brick wall over here. So let's take a look at this, this brick wall, right? And so what I'm gonna show you is how to take uh, and put an image on that wall. Now you can create pictures and frames and stuff. In this case, I'm gonna drop some graffiti in there because uh, I've had some folks wanted to sort of customize what they're doing uh, using their own specific graffiti images. So uh, so again, we're in a, in a scene here. I've got uh, one of the uh, environment assets I downloaded from uh, the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And we're gonna go ahead and put a nice, um, graffiti image on the wall here. So first thing we wanna do is get our graffiti image into Unreal. So what I've done is I've simply created a uh, materials, materials folder, graffiti folder. Um, and what we're gonna do is very simply, I actually have uh, this graffiti for the cipher buns, right? And so all this is is a PNG file that's got a transparent background. So it's important to have a transparent background if you wanna lay it up against the textures of, of whatever wall or floor or, or thing that you wanna put it on there. So again, this is a simple PNG file that uh, has a, a transparent uh, background and I'm just gonna drag it into Unreal. So uh, you should be familiar with me and bring it into your content drawer. Uh, you can see it kind of looks smeared. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. It's really a, a texture file. It's a PNG file and Unreal will translate that uh, in uh, as you drag it in. And the first thing you can do is, this is a texture, it's the PNG file, the texture. Right click and do create material. And what that'll do is it'll create a material uh, is what you, we're gonna need a material to apply it to the uh, actor or the decal actor that we put into Unreal. So if you just right click and do create material, it'll create a material out of um, the image that you just brought in. And double click on that material. We're gonna clean this up a little bit or we're gonna make it so that we're able to take this material and put it on something. Uh, and remember, this is, was a transparent background PNG that we brought in. So the first thing we wanna do is, is over here on the left where it says material. So you have material domain. Instead of surface, we're gonna make this a deferred decal, okay? And the first thing we're gonna do is, oh, actually, take that back. Let's leave the surface there and let's first drag the RGB over uh, to, uh, to the base color. Um, and we're gonna make it a deferred decal. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the blend mode to translucent. And this is because it's a background or it's a translucent or a transparent background image. And we're gonna take our A and put it to opacity. And what that'll do is that'll create, uh, it'll make the transparency through uh, the opacity in the material using the, the texture that you ha that you have brought in. And so I'm not gonna go into great detail there. The, the simple part of this is you brought your um, PNG file in, you created a material out of it, you map the RGB colors to the base color of this new material, we call it Cypher Buns Matte for material, change the blend mode to translucent and connect your A texture sample to the opacity. So now what you have, and click save, now what you have is a material with a uh, translucent background. Now, you kind of see over here on the left, it, it's kind of hard to picture, but what we're gonna do is we take this material, we're gonna put it on a decal, and a decal is an object or it's a um, actor that we're gonna put in our scene. So you're back in here, you've created your material out of your PNG image. Now up on the left here, you wanna add a um, basic actor, I'm sorry, a visual effects actor, and it's called a decal actor. 
So I added that decal actor and you see over here on my outliner, it created decal actor. I'm gonna do a couple things real quick. The actor's in the scene now. I'm gonna call this Huli Cypher underscore decal. So I know uh, what this, this is. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this. I created a folder to kind of keep this simple called Huli Graffiti Decals. So I'm gonna move it into that folder and I'm gonna do that just so I can sort of uh, I have a, a couple other decals. This is the Huli Girl one that I showed you uh, before. Now I have a Huli Cypher decal. Now I want to double click on this decal. Now you see it's kind of out there and, and it doesn't really have material. I'm going to show you a secret, a quick way to kind of bring it to where you want it. But for now, what we want to do is open up that decal and we want to assign, see this decal material here? And again, don't worry where it is in the world. I'm going to show you really quickly how to snap that to where you want it to be. But we've got the decal. We've got this default or decal material. What we want to do is we want to drag and assign this new cipher material uh, as the material for our decal. So I got my cipher material. I'm going to drag it right here. And so that's going to be the uh, decal material for the decal I created is my new cipher bun. Okay. So let's save that. Now I'm going to show you a quick trick. Leave your decal kind of, you know, it's kind of out there. So this is the wall we want to put it on. I'm going to put it right over here next to the dartboard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the dartboard. And if I click on the dartboard and I go to the general and I look for location, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that and do copy. What you're doing is you're copying the location of the dartboard and I'm going to go ahead then and uh, snap my decal to the same location. The, the reason that is, is it's kind of an easy way for you to just bring that instance or that actor right to the place you want. And then we'll use the uh, XYZ access to sort of alter it. But if I right click on the location of my dartboard uh, and then I go back up and I open up my uh, Cypher decal, all right, double click on it and go to the location and do paste. What, what it'll do is it'll take it into, uh, it'll take it back into the location of, there it is right inside there. It'll take it inside the, uh, in my case, it's inside the, um, the bar. Basically, you know, it's just, in my case, it was a dartboard. In your case, it might be something else. The point is, is you, know, you want to create your, um, you want to create your decal and then you want to either you can drag it or, or you know, right click a location of somewhere or a wall that you want to put it on. So hopefully that makes sense. I feel like I'm getting a little confusing on here, but I, I think you get the point. So the good news is now here we go. So it's in the same location as uh, the dartboard. Well, now in this case, no worries. Um, we're going to use the typical tools we have. So first, let's do some quick you know, uh, tweak into this. So let's turn it around. Now, the problem is, is it's backwards, no problem. Let's flip it around 180, 180 degrees there. Let's grab this and move it over a little bit. It's starting to look a little bit better. Yeah, it's getting kind of cool. It's up against the wall. Now we'll take our alter or our uh, shape sizing tool. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And there. Move it over. You get the gist. It's kind of coming into shape. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy a light. Because if we bring a light over here, we have a better chance. Now you're starting to see it a little better. Let's bring it down and light it up a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll go and take this light source and I'll, I'll change the intensity from 20 to like... Uh, 10 so it's not uh, not so incredibly uh, incredibly bright there uh, there it is um yeah so basically now if you take a look we have our image our uh let's go up remember i put it in the, the folder here go up and grab that decal uh we have a decal in our um in our scene our cypher decal and it is um made of the material the png file that we brought in uh and we've moved it around let's go ahead and like i said maybe we'll shape it a little bit more here so, so 
type of funds. There we go. That's starting to look kind of cool. Let's maybe move our light a little bit. The light's just, you know, for a little bit of a fact, you don't have to do that. I just kind of thought it would be cool to yeah, be able to kind of see it a little bit. And you can change a little bit, like I said, on the intensity and how that light's shining over there. But there you go. You now have, uh, to give perspective, we'll do the cinematic view. So that's some way for you can, you know, bring in uh, a PNG file. So drag it in, create material out of it, change the material, translucency, uh, and make sure that you map the opacity. Uh, and then uh, once you do that, you can go ahead and uh, add an in-game object called a decal. And you can move that decal, so it's under visual effects, decal actor. And you can go ahead and make the default or the detailed decal material your material. And you can, you know, this is kind of cool. Like, see how it kind of, you know, blends right in and, and sort of snaps to the wall. In this case, this cool brick wall, I kind of thought this was a good way to look at it. But uh, so hopefully that helps. Um, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.